Hello everyone, it's Pat at Beads and Plenty More and today I'm going to talk about working with large hole beads. I've got a design set up here. I'm going to use uh, suede lacing and this pendant uh, and then we have these beads with the really large hole. Now the thing to remember when you're working with large hole beads is that we have to kind of put something else with it so that it doesn't jiggle on the uh, cord otherwise it doesn't sit nice. So my long cord I'm going to take the center and I'm going to push it through this uh, circle on the pendant like, and do what's called a lanyard hook here with the circle and then I'll grab these two threads and pull them through and then the, this just gets tightened up nice and snug. So it sits nice like that. Now these two cords I'm going to take and put through the one of the, my large hole beads here that are going it, to, it'll sit down next to the pendant like so, right, kind of right over top of that knot. Then I separate the, the two and we'll go into these little beads that, that kind of set, sit nice beside the uh, large hole bead. Sit it down there. They also had to have a big enough hole so that I could get them the cord through so they aren't exactly really small. So they're sitting like that and they kind of nest into that that bead a little bit. And then for each side I chose these little donut black beads and put that and another large hole bead and another one of these black donut style and this one more of these small beads. So we'll nest all that down like that and sits kind of like that. And the other side, of course, being the same. And then to do the clasp on this unit, I will show you how to do that with leather crimps, which will cover up. So there's our our center unit that's going to sit down on the, the body. So I'm going to line these up so that make sure that I, I do have them uneven so we'll just cut away the excess on one side because I do want to start out with them even. There we are. Now my unit that I use for the ends of this type of cord are these leather crimps like this and I'm going to have a chain extender so that I can adjust this a little bit and a lobster clasp. Now these, um, I need a six millimeter jump ring to hook the, the chain onto the leather crimp and the lobster clasp onto the leather crimp. So I'll go ahead and put the leather crimps on. I'm going to lay that piece in like that. I like to use a chain nose plier and I go far up on the pliers here to start this and it gives it a, a quick bend like that and then go in with the tips and squeeze it down really hard so that it's down there nice and so that when we go to the other side I like to hold this this with one pair of pliers and go in again to get this started to tilt and just kind of round it around like that. These do take a little bit of practice but once you get them they really look nice to use as your ends. And I'll do it again on this one. So I'll set it in like that. Go up high on the pliers to tilt this first little bit. Push those down tight with the tips. Hold. And we'll do the other side. There we are, just like that. Now to finish the ends, I'm going to put the jump ring through here and through the lobster clasp. And then we're going to close the jump ring. Hold one side and tilt the other side. Get it lined up nice and smooth, even give it a pinch. Two pairs of chain nose actually work better than the round nose. The round nose are a little bit flimsy, but they do work. So that's one side hooked up. 
and we'll take the jump ring on this side and go ahead and through there and like that. I'll use the heavier pliers this time, they make it a little bit easier. And bring it nice close together, make sure that it lines up. There. So this will hook at any point on the uh, extender chain to give you lots of choices to where you, you uh, have your uh, necklace. And this will hang down nice and long. And a long necklace, of course, is very slimming, which is a very good thing to have for me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.